Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how it is easy to add some webcam recording to a start of a narrated PowerPoint presentation without interrupting any of your existing timings or having to re-record any of your narrations. On the screen, I have a PowerPoint presentation which, as you can see, has narrations. You can tell it has narrations by the fact that it has a little speaker icon on each slide. Also, of course, I've just recorded these narrations, so I know they're there. I want to add a short video of me, you can see it here on the screen, introducing this lecture. And I want to make sure that appears at the start of this before the students watch the lecture. So to do this, I can right click over here on the left side of the screen and introduce a new slide. I need to rearrange this to make sure the slide appears before the first slide and there it is. I want to make the background of this slide black simply so the video looks a little bit better but you don't have to do this. So just change the background to black on this slide. Then I'm going to drag my video from my desktop into the slide and arrange it in the centre of the screen or wherever I want to put it. Now I need to make sure that this video plays automatically at the start of the slideshow and that the slideshow continues once the video is over. So let's address the first problem first, getting this video to play automatically. We go to the playback function and we make sure it starts automatically. Brilliant, that's done. So now we want to make sure that this slide only lasts the duration of this video and then moves on to the next slide. Well, I know this video is only six seconds long. So to do this, I go to the transitions pane and for this slide, I tell it to move on after six seconds. So I type in 06. I then turn off the mouse click option. This means that this slide will play in its entirety all six seconds and then we'll move on to the next slide. You do not want to apply this to all because you want your slideshow to continue with the previously recorded timings and narrations. Once you're happy with this, you can go back to the slideshow pane and then have a quick look at it. James Clark, and in this lecture I'm going to tell you a little bit about biostatistics. This is the first lecture in this And there we go. The lecture starts with the webcam and after a predetermined time moves on to the first slide. This will also mean that if students access this online, the first slide will always play in its entirety. I hope this helps. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.